everyone. I'm here with Rock Garin. And Rock, what is the area of research that you focus on? So I uh, grew up doing uh, network plumbing and quality of service. Um, I still do a little bit of that, but primarily in the context of the cloud, uh, where I do look at issues of real time in, uh, and low latency in cloud computings. And I also look at uh, uh, network economics and pricing in particular. You know, for example, how do you price different types of cloud services and why would, be people, would people be willing to pay differently for different type of things and what are the benefits to both users and, and providers of cloud services. So what are the types of research projects that you're involved in now? So all oh, the types of projects that I'm involved in right now, so I, I have sort of two major thrusts. Um, one of them is in, in the area of cloud computing, um, uh, where I have a couple of different projects looking at uh, making the cloud more suitable for real-time applications, mm -hmm. so aspects of latency and uh, uh, how do you optimize uh, use of resources across different types of users so that you can give different levels of service uh, so that those that need tight guarantees can get them but you can still use all the resources efficiently. Uh, and the other one is sort of more esoteric, it's more, uh, it's a pricing related type of, of questions or network economics related type of questions when you have this sort of heterogeneous environment with all kind of different resources which is what the cloud is, right, where you can sort of build your own <laughs> computer if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you go about pricing these, especially if you not only have different needs in terms of resources, but in when you are interested in accessing those resources. Namely, you know, do you want them quickly? Are you mm -hmm. willing to wait a little bit? And therefore, you know, what's the trade-off that you're willing to tolerate in terms of how much you're willing to pay for those and can both the users and the cloud provider take advantage of that heterogeneity to build a much more efficient system that satisfies more customers or gives out more value overall. So in terms of a specific research project, what problem are you trying to solve and what are some of the challenges there? So let me give you one uh, um, project in the area of real-time cloud systems, um, uh, which is sort of a project that's joined with two of my colleagues at WashU, uh, Cheng Yan Lu and Chris Gill. Um, it's a project that is essentially looking at a real-time messaging system for serverless or microservices. They, you, know, you, you basically need communication between all kinds of different processes, and for many applications, those communications have real-time requirements. So how do you build a scalable uh, messaging middleware, if you want, or infrastructure that runs on the cloud for cloud applications uh, that offers sort of this different uh, uh, levels of, of latency guarantees, right? And the way we went about it was actually a, a pretty common trade, uh, trait of the, the, the work that I do, which is that both an analytical components and a system component. So we first try to build a model that lets us understand how all the different pieces of the messaging systems are going to be interacting. Uh, and then once we have some insight derived from that analysis, then we go about building a system. Uh, and realize that the analysis didn't give us half of the story, which is not uncommon, right? Uh, um, but still, the analysis helped actually inform a number of design decisions and realize sort of a better trade-off in terms of how you would, you know, you would build such a sort of real-time messaging system that works across a whole bunch of different applications. Well, uh, you, this is the second day of the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Research Faculty Summit. Uh, what's your experience been so far? So I've had a great time. This is the, you know, the first time that I'm, I'm coming here. Um, uh, I really enjoyed it. It's pretty intense, right? So it starts early, and, and uh, uh, even though it doesn't end that late, you know, it's pretty much nonstop, uh, uh, unlike sort of conferences where you attend one or two talk. I mean, here I pretty much attended all the sessions, and uh, 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 I've really enjoyed it, uh, especially the last one that I was in on edge computing, which is uh, edge versus cloud, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is, I think, an area that's particularly interesting. Is there an area of disruption that you think uh, systems research uh, will uh, hit in the next five to 10 years that's just ripe for disruption, I guess? So I think I just gave it up, yeah, right? Yeah. At, uh, uh, the edge, sort of, I think, you know, this tension between what do you do very close to the user um, versus where do you rely on the enormous resources that are available in the cloud, right? Uh, um, and there's a you know, constant sort of push and pull and trade off. Um, when you're close to the user, you can do things quickly and you can mm -hmm. be very responsive, uh, but you don't have access to you know, the amount of resources that are available in the back end, in the cloud itself. And so how do you figure out when to migrate, where, how, and where, how to, how to split things, uh, um, I think is, is a really interesting area, which tons of opportunity, and I think you know, the, the session that we 
just had was a really a very good example of that. All right, very good. Well, Rock, thank you so much for your time. Okay, uh, my pleasure. Mm -hmm.